one major source of protein for many people in the world. According to the World Fish Center, 4.5 billion people get at least 15% of the average per capita intake of animal protein from fish. For the last 10 years or so, the global production of wild-caught fish has remained the same at around 95 million tons per year. Recent increases in consumption of fish protein have been possible because aquaculture output has grown steadily over the period at about 8% per year to now almost match the volume of wild-caught fish. But this growth is unsustainable as it depends heavily on the use of fish meal and fish oil-based feeds that are supplied by wild-caught fisheries. This supply is becoming overfished and therefore expensive. If we don't do something to address the problem, it will become a threat to global food security. Substitutes for fish meal are always being tested and many plant-based feeds including soya, wheat and maize among others have been tried. Crops for the Future aims to introduce currently undervalued crops into ecofeeds either directly or indirectly as fish meal substitutes. The Fish Plus program has been set up to manage projects under this banner. For example, a project to grow and harvest Black soldier fly is underway in conjunction with the University of Nottingham with funding through the British Council and MITE. The fly larvae are grown on Moringa and Bambara groundnut which we are researching to assess their suitability as a larvae feed. When the grubs are fat and ready, they are harvested and dried and included in feeds for Baramundi. This approach is intended to achieve high quality inputs from the field to the larvae, from the larvae to the ecofit and finally to the fish. Our goal is to develop a high quality product that is safe, nutritious and tasty to the consumer. We are currently developing other projects of a similar nature such as improving the way that the highly priced Ampura fish in Sarawak is grown, fed and marketed. Developing an echo feed for grouper using black soldier fly and other insects and researching crop based feed additives to help reduce early mortality syndrome in prawns. Our regional partners for those initiatives will include Thailand, Vietnam, Korea and Australia in addition to the UK and the Netherlands. Aquaculture is a vital socio-economic activity and source of food in Asia. However, we must find a way to grow fish without using increasingly scarce and expensive fish meal and fish oil. Crops of the Future is at the forefront of attempts to maintain the performance, sustainability and the growth of aquaculture through the provision of quality plant-based aquifers.